So I paint on lots of different surfaces. As I've touched on, I paint on surfboards and walls um, are my two main things, but those walls vary. So it could be a brick wall, it could be a rendered wall, it could be a, a timber fence. It just, yeah, it really varies depending on the day and what's given to me. Pieces of paper and, and cloth fabrics. I paint on football boots and footballs. So different types of like leather and synthetic surfaces. It's just, up to your imagination and what you can put it on. So my name is Zachary Bennett Brook. I'm a contemporary Indigenous artist. I'm of Torres Strait Islander ancestry, born and raised here in the Illawarra, uh, Darawal country. I'm the artist of Saltwater Dreamtime and I'm an alumni of UOW. So my creative process changes pretty much for everything slightly <laughs> um the first two main things are always the same so it always starts with coffee and music and then to the actual application i use a lot of the time uh paint brushes and posca pens when i'm doing my larger scale pieces outside on buildings i'll use a combination of aerosol and exterior house paint so that just depending on the background or style i'll mix those two together and then i'll use paint brushes to actually physically draw on each circle So my inspiration with my artwork comes a lot from nature and obviously my indigenous culture. Um, being down by the water, gaining inspiration from the designs and patterns that you see in the sand and the rock carvings is really something I draw upon as well as taking a step away from the coast and going more into the bush and scrubland, seeing all the leaves and different um, designs in the bark and and, and the dirt, just things that mother nature has left behind. First of all, I like to figure out colours because I go, what's around that I can play off? Are there, for example, Illawarra flame trees? Are there banks? Is are there um, is there wattle around? Like I look at the natural environment. With majority of my designs, it's very organic, and it will. I might start in the bottom left-hand corner and then jump to the top right, and then back to the centre, and and it's sort of all over the shop. And some people go, oh, they're just patterns, but they've all got a deeper meaning to them. So a lot of the time I use dots and line work throughout my works. And from that, they ever tell stories about travel, uh, reconciliation, family, uh, drawing back on the natural environment again. They play on all themes of that. Um, but for me, my big main number one goal is, has been for a while, is to get my artwork featured on a plane. <laughs> and everyone has different visions of success so for me a long time it was just to be happy and that sounds simple enough and everyone again has different visions of what happiness is for me I'm at a really happy place I've been able to use my art work extremely hard to be able to purchase a place I've got a degree I'm in my eyes successful in what I do and all those things put together create happiness. Wow. 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 Wow.